Yeah. Hi, hello everyone. This is Shanmagaraj. Welcome to Agile Biz Leaders. This is an initiative to build a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of Agile leadership and project management. You can join me and help me with that either by subscribing to this channel or sharing my videos to our friends. Right? So having said that, let us get into today's video. So currently we are discussing some of the leadership ideas from uh, MID Sloan School of Management. Today's topic is, uh, is it riskier to have junior employees to teach artificial intelligence to senior employees? Mm -hmm. The risk of letting juniors teach AI to senior colleagues. This particular article published a couple of days back in a Maddie Sloan, why does it matter? Generative AI's broad accessibility and applicability make it a vital tool for businesses. But those traits can also cause trouble when upskilling employees. Generative AI's characteristics, specifically its broad accessibility and applicability. These are the characteristics that give the technology its advantages. But those same features can also create traps for junior workers, preventing them being a reliable source of expertise for more senior workers despite an eagerness to help. The reason, rather than offering advice like the kind generative AI experts would share with users, junior professionals tend to recommend novice AI risk mitigation tactics. These novice tactics are grounded in a lack of deep understanding of the emerging technologies' capabilities. The tactics focus on changed human routines rather than system design and focus on interventions at the project level rather than system deployer or ecosystem level. So while it is important for leaders to encourage enthusiasm in junior employees, you are still the leader, you are responsible, you are also accountable. It is up to senior leaders to better understand how generative A works and how to use it. So we're going to talk about three traps in this video that has been discussed in the article. Tapping junior employees to teach senior employees about new technology has worked well in the past. Junior employees tend to be new hires and are expected to experiment with the tools and learn about their capabilities. New Year workers also don't have a behavior ingrained around the water technologies that an organization uses. But the speed at which generative AI is developing, as well as its expanding availability, is impacting the flow of knowledge between junior and senior workers. In a research, that is done in July and August of 2023. They have interviewed 78 junior consultants after they would participated in a field experiment in which they were given access to generative AI. In this, in this case, you know, ChatGPT4 to solve a business problem. Right, it could be like an you know, identifying channels and brands that would help 
a fictional retail apparel company improve the revenue and profitability. Right, so junior consultant generally they are you now less than two years of experience and senior employees, you can assume that they are managers with more than five to six years of experience. So after participating in the experiment, the junior workers were asked three questions. Can you envision your use of generative AI creating any challenges in your collaboration with managers? What are the what are these some of the ways to deal with these challenges? How do you think these challenges could be mitigated? So the answers from junior professionals can fit into three traps that experts avoid while teaching and deploying AI. Those traps are lacking a deep understanding of generative AI's accuracy, explainability, and contextualization. The second trap is focusing on changes to human routines rather than to system design. The third trap, focusing on changes at the project level rather than at deployer or ecosystem level. For example, according to some of the anonymized answers recorded in the paper, the junior consultants tried to address generative AI's output inaccuracy by recommending that workers use AI to augment human created material rather than using AI to create it from scratch. Generative AI experts, on the other hand, recommend that leaders decide appropriate use cases for the technology where error risks are acceptable. In another case, the surveyed juniors recommended changing human routines by training AI users to validate generated results. However, AI experts would be more inclined to use models that provide source links with the generator results. So the researchers offered a list of mitigation tactics to address these traps and the recommended corporate leaders ensure that junior and senior workers focus on addressing AE risks by understanding the AE's capabilities and limitations, making changes to both system design and human routine, and intervening in socio-technical ecosystems rather than only at the project level. So this particular table talks about how You can stop getting into trap of novice AI risk mitigation tactics by applying expert AI risk mitigation tactics in three areas of capabilities of Gen AI. Let's take capability accuracy of Gen AI. Novices use a standardized way of asking questions. They do the work first without Gen AI. But if you look at expert AI mitigation tactics, in terms of accuracy, you desired an appropriate use cases where error risks are acceptable. Test Gen AI's reliability in executing each subtask. When it comes to explainability of Gen AI, novice tactics talks about 
explain model logic to managers. They agree on practices for explainable output. But what experts are talking about is avoid Gen AI use where high degree of explanation explainability is required. Gen AI provides illusion of transparency, but explanations may not match true actions, right? So when it comes to contextualization, novice say they use for cases where contextualization is not necessary. But what experts say, provide contextual information and specify the desired output and use retrieval augmented generation to add content. So you can look at how the expert AI litigation, uh, sorry, risk mitigation tactics really works very well for you. So researchers feel that this is more a matter of waking up and shaking the leaders that right now are over trusting the juniors and their ability to know what's right. You need to be focused on system design and firm level and ecosystem level things. Make sure that this is not just about offering trainings, but focusing on system design pushing back with vendors and putting things in place around data. So with that, we'll come to the conclusion of uh, this video. Hope you guys got a better understanding of incurring a risk when you involve your junior people to train a senior people in your organization about artificial intelligence you understand what are the traps you might encounter during this process you also know how experts are dealing artificial intelligence in those characteristics explainability contextualization right of journey ai right so i hope you guys like these kind of videos that help you to become a better leader Right, so with that, I'm signing off. See you in next video.